here on Fight Island. Uh, so I thought I'd find a nice palm tree and uh, record the video under that. So you will need a belt for this class. So just grab your jiu-jitsu belt or a long towel or something like that. And we will start off laying on our backs. Okay, from here, just bring your belt around the balls of your feet and just stretch your foot up. You can start off with a little bend in your knee. And we'll just start stretching our hamstrings. And as always, we'll slow our breath down. So we'll inhale through our nose and slowly let that out through our nose as well. Good, inhale again. And out. Nice, and as I inhale, I'm gonna stretch my leg. As I exhale, I'm just gonna add that micro bend a little more. And just find a deep breath with that. Just start warming your hamstring up. Get some movements here. Just wake everything up and get them prepared to move. Good, and as you curl your heel down, make sure you, you feel your hamstring and the movement that you're getting out of it. Good, a couple more of them. And then just try and keep your leg straight. So if you need to kick your foot away to keep your leg straight and start pulling it in, that's fine. Good, and imagine your toes trying to come down towards the floor as your heel drives up to the ceiling. And just try and keep your legs straight. Good, you might want to do some natural movements from side to side just to feel, again, the sides of your hamstring wake up. Good, and just kind of prepare for the class and a bit of a stretch today. Okay, let's now our bottom foot, so just extend that away, but still toes up towards the sky or the ceiling. And just feel that. Good, so you should start getting a little hip stretch in, your, in the front of your left hip now. Keep driving your feet away from each other, but try and keep your feet in the same direction. And if your grip starts getting tired, just overlap your hands through your belt so that you can ease into that stretch a little more. Okay, bring that foot back up, bottom one, and then just a little micro bend in your knee and then bring your heel down to your bum. And let's go same on the other side. Good, so again, belt over the balls of your feet little bend, just pulling your foot a little higher until you find a hamstring stretch. So if, if for you that's here, whatever, that's fine. You've, you've got your hamstring stretch, okay? We're all different, so just remember that. Another deep breath here before we start moving again. Good, find some movements with your breath now. Again, if you need to wrap your hands around your belt, feel free. If you wanna test your grip and hold on for dear life, Feel free as well. Good, and so my right knee's flaring out a bit now. Try and try and remember to keep that up nice and high. Just ready for when we extend our foot in a second. Good, now just extend that foot up towards the sky. 
Remember, toes back, heel up. And then drive that right foot away, feel that hip stretch. Good, make sure your toes stay up so your foot isn't opening out, your toes are staying up. And just three deep breaths. Bring that bottom foot back, slowly micro bend in your knee at the top and bring that down. Good. And from here, just grab your knees, sit yourself up. We won't be using our belt again for a little while, so just place that to the side. Good. And then just find a plank position with me. Good. So biceps forwards in plank, index fingers parallel and we'll take it inhale then exhale bend your knees drive your hips up towards the sky keep a little bend in your knees and imagine your sitting bones going up towards the ceiling so you'll notice there because you'll feel a hamstring stretch come on good so just undo that what we just did with the sitting bones so you can feel that stretch come off and now put that back on so that you can feel the hamstring stretch good Come forwards to plank again. Bend your knees, lift your hips back, good. Feel that stretch come on again. Come forward to plank again. Lift your hips up. Good, hamstring stretch. Let's do that one more time. It's important you, you locate the stretch as well. Good, from here, bring your right knee in towards your chest and then your right foot between your hands. Good, and then we'll drop our left knee on the mat. And then from here, chest forwards on the inhale and exhale, find a little hamstring stretch back. You don't have to get your, your legs straight. If you get to here and you've got a stretch again, that's fine. We'll do that two more times. One more. Good, just sit in that hamstring stretch for a couple of breaths. Again, wherever you're at, maybe try and square your hips to the floor. So a minute ago, I was up, out like this. You square your hips to the floor, drive your, your right hip back. You feel that stretch come on even more. Good. Now bring your weight forwards again, stretch that back leg out, and step back to dog. Good, find that hamstring stretching downward dog before we move. Remember, tilt your sitting bones up to the ceiling. You can straighten your legs a little more maybe, and feel that hamstring stretch, good. Okay, left knee to chest, left foot in between your hands, drop that back knee, and we'll do the same on the other side. So inhaling forwards, Exhaling back, square your hips, good, inhaling forwards, and back, one more, and back, good, find that hamstring stretch, remember what I said, so dragging your back, uh, your left hip back, maybe you can feel your heel dragging on the mat, and just fold into that. Let's come forwards again, straighten that back leg, step back to down dog. Good, on the inhale, come to plank, and then on the exhale, bend your knees, come back up to down dog. Remember to find that hamstring stretch before we move on. Good, let's go right knee up again, step inside your hands. And now this time, keep that back knee on the ground. Your right hand is going on top of the bent knee. Good. 
and then as I inhale, I'm lifting my shoulder up and back, and it's almost like I'm twisting my chest up to the sky, and then I'm exhaling back down, good, inhale back up, exhale down, one more of them, and back down, nice, step back to down dog. Good, find the hamstring stretch. Let's come forward to plank. Bend your knees back to down dog. Make sure you find that hamstring stretch. I really want to focus on locating that today. Good, next inhale, left knee up to chest. Left hand, uh, sorry, left foot between your hands. And then your left hand goes on top of that bent knee. And we'll do the same on this side. So. Shoulder goes up, inhale, look up, and down. Good, let's go again. One more. And back down, step back to down dog. Good work. Two breaths here. Nice, come back to a plank, bend your knees, come back up to dog, really good. Right knee comes back up between your hands with that foot, good. Now just lift that right hand up and step your right foot out slightly and have your toes pointing out just at a bit of an angle, good. Good. Just find that stretch. So my right hand is up off the floor. You can stretch that forwards to begin with. Good. And then similar to what we're doing where we're turning up, but this time I'm using my right hand and I'm straightening this bent leg. So I'm inhaling up and exhale back forwards. Inhale up. Exhale forwards. Inhale up, exhale forwards, we'll do that one more time, inhale up, exhale forwards, hand goes down, step back to down dog, good, find that hamstring stretch. Come forward to plank, inhale here. Bend your knees, lift your hips, good. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So left knee up, left foot forwards. Walk that out a bit and then that's at a little angle. So my left hand's up. Stretch that forwards. You can go a little wider on your base here if you want as well. And then inhale, stretch that front leg. Exhale. Let's go again. Good, one more. Sorry, it's one more now. And exhale, hand down to plank. Bend your knees, dog. Lovely, good. Nice. So we spent a lot of time going from dog to plank into a few different positions now. So if you need to, you can come down to your knees and just find a little stretch here in this kind of turtle position. But if not, try and, now that our hamstrings are open, try and really find that down dog position and keep that stretch. Two more breaths, good. Good, okay, now my right foot is stepping forwards into this position we had before. But again, step that foot out so that my right hand is on the inside and now my right foot is on the outside. 
and just start walking your right foot out, okay? This doesn't have to be a crazy stretch, and then you can walk that back knee back a bit as well, and just find, it's almost like a split position, but we're not like straight down the middle, okay? So my right foot's out a bit, and you can just kind of wiggle your foot out, wiggle your heel out, and just find a good stretch, but at a different angle. Good, just stretching your foot away. And when I'm here and when I found a good stretch, I like to kind of go from side to side so I can just feel it in different parts of my hamstring. You will feel it in this hip as well, front of your hip. Good. Again, we're not going crazy. This is nothing too intense, but we spent a little while stretching our hamstrings now. So why not put it into practice a little more? And get a little bit of movement here as well. Yeah, maybe wiggle that heel away even more. Some of you might want to try and come down to your elbows here, which is fine. Some of you might stay on your hands, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever your hamstrings are allowing today. Good, let's spend two more breaths here. Nice, so come out of that how you came into it, so back onto your hands, start creeping that heel back, which might be harder than it sounds. Good, and then from here, step back to a downward dog position. Find the hamstring stretch for a breath. Same with the left foot, so left foot comes up and in the middle, walk that out, so heel toe that out. Left hand comes on the inside. And then that left foot comes off the mat and starts to stretch away here. Good, as that back knee stretches away too. Good, and you might not get as far as you did on the other side, or you might get further. Just go from side to side a little. I like to spend a while doing this stretch after a good class because you will really feel your hamstrings open, especially if you've done if you spent maybe 10 minutes more stretching your hips out too, you won't have any tightness in your hips, hopefully, and you can maybe ease into it a little more the other side too. Good. When you're good and ready, come down to your elbows or stay where you are. Good, that's a two more breaths here. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Just come up to your hands, start creeping that heel back, and step back to down dog. Lovely, slipping on the mat there, <laughs> great. Okay, come down to your knees now, but keep your toes tucked. And now bring your hips above your knees. Again, toes tucked, like I said, so they're not flat. And from here, we'll just, we spent a lot of time folding forwards, so I wanna open the hips and open the shoulders because we've been in plank like this a lot, okay? So you don't have to grab your heels. This depends on how much you can open your chest out. But we'll start off just reaching back like this. Good, and I'm bridging my hips forward so I get a nice opener here. And I'm just bridging back and opening my chest and letting gravity pull my shoulders down. Good, but it's really important that you bridge forwards here. You can let your head hang if you want. Good, and if you want a little more, you can come back, grab the inside of one heel, left hand up, get a little side stretch as well. Good, inhale here, exhale, left hand goes down, let go of the heel, grab the other heel, right hand goes up, good. Good, 
good. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, hand goes down. Grab, inhale up. Now let's try and play that. So exhale down. Inhale up. One more. And up. Good. Keep flowing there. If you feel like you're a little more open, you can grab both heels, bridge your hips forwards, shoulders back, and really feel your chest open. And take three here. Good. Slowly release that grip you've got there. And now just flatten those feet out now. Sit your hips back. And then just sit in turtle pose here. Good. Take some deep breaths. Really fill up your belly with air. And we'll just take a minute here on the mat just to end the practice. Just focusing on slowing our breath down. Good. When, when you're happy, just open your eyes if they're closed and just sit yourself up. And uh, that's it for class today. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to try and find places around the island to film whilst I'm here. I'm here for a few more weeks. So um, stay tuned and get involved in my live streams if, uh, if you want to see a little bit. So we've got Sebastian's class on Wednesday and Sarah's on Saturday. So make sure you guys get involved. It's hamstrings all week, so if you want a better guard, if you want more flexible hamstrings, uh, then, then you know where to go. Cool. Cheers, guys.